Hello, I reviewed a lot of earphones starting from one that costs like $10 or even $8 if I remember the cheapest models and ending up uh, to models that goes to two plus uh, thousand of dollars but today I've got earphones from the segment where price doesn't matter at all it's uh, uh, relatively recently released flagship by Noble Audio they called it uh, Viking Ragnar I, you probably saw that TV series so let's don't go to the history describing who Ragnar was uh, more interesting, what are those earphones? So, their price is $4,000, which is super high. But when we're speaking about no compromise solutions, uh, it's uh, the prices that we have in this segment. And actually, the, this model is not the most expensive in the earphones world. And when it comes to that prices, of course, every company wants to create a no-compromise solution. So here you get earphones made of Damascus steel with great design. Here used 10 drivers per side, two dynamic drivers for the low and uh, for low frequencies and the deepest low frequencies. Four balanced armatures for like uh, mids to uh, uh, entry highly high entry high frequencies or lower treble and uh, four electrostatic uh, drivers to play treble and so on of course all that stuff was tuned by noble audio founder john M malton multon uh, sorry not sure about the correct pronunciation he's uh, more known as wizard in the audio community and uh, he proved uh, many times that he's uh, able to do any sound of any level with great uh, fidelity, a lot of joy and so on. These earphones are accompanied with uh, premium cable made of silver and uh, carbon strands, so still price is high, but at least uh, you are getting uh, the most possible value for this price. So let's have a closer look. Outer box looks nice. Uh, so. It's a loner unit, so I need to be careful here. And traditionally inside of the outer box, for the traditionally for the noble audio, we're getting that big hard plastic case. Which is definitely not the one will be anyone will be used for carrying them, but actually it looks superb and uh, I think everyone can find lot of usages for such plastic case in in the audio file setup so you open them here the uh, here are ear pieces themselves like unusual package cables go from the case then we've got some stickers metal card so not much of useful here but nice absolutely basic pouch i don't like them much nobles uh, signature rubber bands useful for those who use portable digital tonal converters with uh, smartphone nice selection of different tips silicone two type of forms and the brush for cleaning here is main storage case made of leather, nice traditional magnet one, so it's also expected. And here are heroes of our show. Honestly, I don't understand why they didn't use some velcro stripe here, but uh, it would increase premium level in the packaging definitely. So let's unwrap them and see ear pieces themselves so i need to put them aside and shells are great so design reminds uh, for example han and many other designs inspired by different types of uh, cast steel and here we've got uh, that typical damascus pattern looks really interesting really unique 
and you can see that uh, each earpiece has unusual and unique pattern. They are pretty big, but they have the traditional noble audio shape. So for my ears they fitting really well, I like it, so they have extended spout and you can accommodate the rest of the shell comfortably in your ear. With such a long spout they provide above average sound isolation, of course there is a lip for holding the tips and protective grill, so that stuff we can even not discuss. And as you can see all the lines are perfectly aligned, nice runes with model name, probably model name, maybe it's just written, maybe just written right here piece. I like that design of Noble Audio and of course cable, it made detachable with standard two pin connectors, so traditionally Noble Audio use them. Here is ear hook without memory wire and the cable definitely looks bright, super attractive, nicely braided. Despite of its uh, thickness it's pretty soft, so microphonic effect is low. It has really well done metal uh, splitter with chin slider and underneath it goes down to the pentacon jack. Actually here used a really big one. But probably they wanted to get the best possible Pentacon here too. So in terms of uh, outer stuff and design and uh, packaging and the other things, everything is made on a really good level. And of course about the sound. I didn't test all models in Noble Audio lineup, uh, but I test uh, a bunch of models and you know they almost all of them were like on the fun side of tuning, but not too much. So. Uh, K10 Pro, Kaiser and Kaiser and Core and Han and Su Sultan, Sultan, they were like uh, not natural but pretty technical with uh, some boosted emotions with uh, more fun signature. I haven't uh, test or heard any Basy models that uh, Noble Audio has. And also I didn't experience uh, natural and monitoring models like Katana before this day. So uh, Viking Ragnar is tuned to be on the natural, super resolving, super detailed and technical side of things. And uh, some people can consider it as boring, uh, but in general uh, it's just a matter of your source and record of course. You're getting the maximum resolution, you're getting good level of neutrality, but like not absolutely natural or flat, but just uh, with slight accents to make it sound more appropriate to our ears, to compensate the evenness of our ears frequency response. So bass goes to maximum depth, it has a really great punch, it's tight, it's really fast, it's uh, capable of delivering really uh, fast subsequent uh, punches when it's necessary, but it's not uh, kind of uh, accented even to the average level. There is a slight accent in the low frequencies, but just to build the foundation for the sound, it's definitely not the model for those who used to the typical V-shaped signature or for those who are bass heads. So if you want uh, to get more bass, you need to get some bassy source. Uh, but of course when bass is well recorded in the track you'll get it in the necessary amount but it won't add any gram of weight here. In exchange you're getting superb resolution, focus on the micro contrast, absolutely top notch texturing, uh, uh, I mean focus on the micro details on the low frequencies, sorry used the wrong term. And uh, that means that you'll get a great sense of realism and uh, all that small nuances, details like wood resonance uh, or brass resonance and so on. So absolutely great for those who like to enjoy every single nuance of music. And uh, let's no. first test track. It's uh, Christian Scott, Spy Boy Flag Boy from the one of uh, HD track samplers 
and uh, they have really nice uh, drum line here it's not going far deep uh, but uh, it has some deep resonance and it this earphones renders it perfectly not uh, losing it somewhere but at the same time not over accenting or pushing it too forward and another example actually it would be not fair if i didn't include this uh, track here it's vardruna urur or sorry not sure how to pronounce it i don't know how to pronounce a lot of things in this world and starting with the entry roar here and ending with that uh, drum that uh, uh, some kind of big drum that present in this track all that goes to the bass area and uh, resonates there great and uh, it sounds super impressive with great amount of rich details but at the same time with necessary punch and saturation with uh, nuances mid frequencies are really really resolving so they go into the micro contrast they trying to deliver you all the tiniest nuances and details and uh, they don't try to highlight almost any aspect uh, in the mid frequencies that means uh, really high uh, level of uh, attention to the quality of record and source itself so if you have for example uh, source that pushes a little bit dynamics and emotions you get it so for example pairing i like pairing with m17 it does it did that uh, superb accurate signature few accent and it suits well to these earphones in general i'd prefer pairing it with something warmer or at least not uh, cold and, or analytical sounding so more suiting for some fun player but of course not too much uh, but more on that a bit later and uh, mid frequencies will deliver you all uh, the nuances that is present in the record so uh, be prepared to start your quest to search for the best mastering for the best recording uh, and so on and so forth like all that adventures with vinyl rips uh, with comparing like digital releases to uh, dvd releases or sorry not dvd super audio cds and so on it's kind of fun sometimes but sometimes not that fun but with good quality records especially if you listen to the genres that are typical for uh, typically recorded well like classical music jazz for example and be prepared to get a really overwhelming amount of nuances, uh, details and perfection and add here really a spacious stage building with top-notch layer separation with a great amount of air, spaciousness with well-defined uh, sources of music located properly as much as it's possible for the earphones of course so stage here is definitely one of the best or even the best or one of the best and uh, let's proceed to the examples first one it's uh, Hiromi Uihara Dilemma really fast start of this track with super fast keyboard part and that uh, slight percussions uh, is a really complex test for the earphones in terms of their speed and delivery but it's just pretty easy task for the viking uh, because they are focused on the detailization and that means superb speed so no issues here and of course all nuances of uh, fortepiano and all that uh, bass and drums accompaniment typical for the hiromi uihara they will deliver on a great level and actually a bit of unusual track here but i really like uh, first albums of pink floyd because of that uh, stereo effects used here and take take up the stethoscope and walk uh, of course filled with that transition from channel to channel and uh, uh, thin in, in stereo and so on and uh, multiplied by the big and spacious stage of these earphones it gives really great effect of presence and uh, actually they had a pretty nice amount record quality and especially in modern remasters you getting also 
uh, good uh, representation of guitar, voices and percussions, so you get a nice amount of detailization and immersion into the track. And the uh, treble, it's accented, uh, if you're sensitive to the treble, it uh, quite probably will be an overkill for you, they coming close to my threshold or to my limit of uh, treble perception, not crossing it, but come to it. But uh, thanks to the electrostatic drivers, you get superb extension, almost maximum. You get really good balance of attacks and decays, so you get airness, but at the same time you get proper weight distribution. And uh, overtone saturation will be on the top notch level too. And uh, also you get maximum level of layering with all that airness nuances and so on. Really rich saturated treble that even a bit highlighting their richness like to showcase how great they are. And examples. So first one will be Arnedum Nerus take 5 and actually it's exactly that case where good treble is necessary to give you the sense of presence in the audience because it was recorded live with a lot of ambient noises uh, and it's like giving you additional sense of immersion and these earphones really highlight that and boost that effect. And of course instruments also go high to the treble area with overtones and stuff and that all will be delivered without any issues. And another example, it's Ghosts by Anathema and actually last albums by Anathema uh, or at least The Optimist is just a beautiful music that doesn't belong to some particular genre. It's hard to believe that Anathema started as slow and super heavy doom metal, but later they uh, transitioned to more progressive music and ended with something really just great music uh, without genre. Keyboards, vocal, guitars here are really well recorded and uh, these uh, earphones will give you a full sense of that record quality, really uh, boosting your experience with this track. Speaking about the pairings, actually, you know, um, they require some high-end player and I don't think there will be any sense in trying it without with something like below the top segment and they are also really critical for the player manner at all. I like it for example with uh, SP2000 Astellan Kern because I like Ibas, oh, sorry, Astellan Kern signature. But actually with Ibasso players that are tend to be more monitoring uh, on the stroke amplifier effect will uh, be a bit of dry sound. But uh, thanks to Ibasso they released the tube amplifier. With tube amplifier you uh, getting like, like the opposite. Rich, warm, saturation. Actually really good earphones to listen to the difference between sources, between uh, amplifiers used in players with replaceable amplifiers and so on. As for comparison, sorry, I haven't heard anything from this range, so I don't think uh, I can do any reasonable comparisons. There are a lot of popular models, but unfortunately didn't have experience with them. So to summarize, really top-notch sounding model with uh, interesting natural signature, but at the same time uh, with capabilities of delivering all the nuances of the record and with good record they definitely won't be dull. I've uh, heard some people complaining about the feed, but uh, for me there were no issues and actually it's really sad that I have to return them. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention and of course have a great day.